Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the second time in 2022. I'm one of your hosts, of course, Elijah. Sitting with me digitally is my co-host, Alex. I like hot sauce. <sighs> okay, we had a whole thing. Depends on, depends on the hot sauce. We had a whole thing. Yes. We're bringing this up now. Now, Achievers, yeah. of course, we come to you every single Friday with news you think you need to know, or like today, a special topic that we're going to be talking about. You've read the thumbnail, so you know what it's going to be about. But before we get into that, I want to talk to Alex. So you had, so you had some conniption with some hot sauce, right? You yeah. com- combine. I don't know if Achievers, you do this, but you combined three different hot sauces from Taco Bell together. Yes. Four, uh, technically. You all four of them. It was four. Yeah, it was all four of them. It was hot. Mild, was hot. Three now. Mild, hot. Fiery and Diablo, or fire, excuse me, just fire. It's called sidebar. fire and sidebar. Mm. What's Taco Bell problem with removing the Verde sauce? Where do they get off? Apparently, they have a fucking yeah, I know. I like, I love the red. The it, green it was one. my favorite. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't get they, any sauce they, there now. They added a yellow one, it's like a what? breakfast one. What's a break? Yeah, it's a breakfast one. It's fucking what does know. it say? What is I it? I don't remember. Let me yeah, see. I, not, not, it is an imprint, clearly. Now I gotta go look it up. Please do. Now, you combined all four sauces, and how was that experience, if you could describe it in a couple of words? Uh, it was, I mean, it tasted good. It, was, it wasn't, I, it was honestly, not that hot. Yeah, no, Taco was, Bell sauces just, aren't that hot. No, it no, was just, no, it, was, no. it tasted good. No, 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 no. Taco Bell sauces, not even the Diablo sauce is even the tad bit, I would say, hot. I've hot, hot stuff. Mm-hmm. That's not it. No. Anyways. Not after uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Achievers. So Alex has been floating the idea of doing the news while intoxicated from heat. A specific I. scenario. The one chip challenge. The one chip challenge, yes. Yeah, so if you've heard of this, it's internet thing where it's a single chip that you buy. Um. Isn't it called like Pocky or something? So, I don't it's know. Pocky's one yeah. chip challenge, and it consists of the California Reaper and the Scorpion Pepper. Yeah, just made up garbage that people make. This whole it's... and you take a bite of it, and you're I guess you're supposed to eat the whole thing in one, one hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah whole... you're supposed yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, and then you die. And if you don't yeah. die, you wish you died for yeah. I assumably an hour. I don't know how long it lasts. Well, you're supposed. But... So I think it's like there's intervals. You should last at least eight minutes. But to be like the you know, top challenger thing, I forget what it's called. You're supposed to last an hour. What is that? Wait, L- like without drinking something or something? Is that yeah, what yeah, without drinking anything? Gotcha, yeah, okay. you're supposed to just last an hour. Okay. Um, and you had tried ma- mango habanero sauce, and that was spicy to you. From, you yeah, it. from yeah, the Buffalo Wild Wings habanero mango habanero. Mind you, I didn't know what I, I've never had it, so I was like, oh, this sounds good. I want to try it. It it was tickling my tongue. <laughs> it was hot. Yeah, no, I, I was like, if you think that's hot, I, I was, I was. I literally, yeah. go, I literally texted you. Google how more, how much hotter one of those peppers is than a habanero. Then mm-hmm. get back to me. And you went <laughs> and texted back. Fuck that I was challenge. Like, this is hot. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, here. If, was, so, if you think a so, buffalo wild wings sauce is hot, no, mm-hmm. you're not doing the one chip. So here's what it's called. So for the one chip challenge, you have to um, five. If you last five minutes. You're powerless. If you last ten minutes, you're powerful. If you last thirty minutes, you're supercharged. And if you last an hour, you're invincible. Sounds like some who's like making what? up these. Who, who, who is it a doctor? Like who's fucking writing out these things? This is some dude like in his underwear, like typing out the description for this thing. <laughs> like what? What claim does he have <laughs> to to like say like I, I guess if it's if you're 30 minutes, you're supercharged. 10 minutes, you're strong, but not too strong. And an hour, like, you could fight Superman, but only for, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> it's it's just like nonsense. 10 minutes. Just nonsense. Yeah. Achievers. But, yeah. Achievers. This is not a hot sauce podcast. I'm sorry. This is a video gaming podcast where we come to you every single Friday with something different. It could be a news. It could be some sort of topic we want to discuss. Anything of the sort. By the way, the breakfast thing is just called breakfast salsa. Stupid. Anyway, carry on. Oh my god, breakfast salsa, really? Yeah, literally it's in that sad little salsa. packet too. It's in the little packet, and it's yeah. yellow, and uh, it just says breakfast salsa. No, 
Achievers, let, let us know if any of that is good. I imagine it's not. That's all stuff. That all sounds awful. I caught you okay it. Okay, yeah, I know. For some reason, my mic just went. I'm dead, and it just fell. But I caught it. Yeah, you should tighten that up. Yeah, I, <laughs> I tightened it up. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Anyway, I ain't talking about the mic. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Achievers, every single Friday we come to you with a topic uh, or news story that we think we should talk about. You can, of course, support us in a number of ways. On YouTube, you can like, comment, subscribe to the page. You can five-star review on the podcast efforts of your choice or patreon.com slash You Give us a couple of bucks. There's plenty of tiers to look at. You can private message us to get on the show and also ask us questions that will also be answered on the show. Alex, mm. we gathered today to talk about the future last episode we talked about the past our top 10 games of 2021 please go check that out that is our most recent upload but now we're talking about the future what is our most anticipated games 2022 mm. now alex i told you to make a top five list i did i did we did this in secrecy we, did, we did not yes, we did. really compare notes or anything no we did not i did a audible really a couple hours ago and said alex mm -hmm. i've made a new category and if you would like to make that category too you're welcome to so yes. we're going to start with that category and then we're going to move into our top five anticipated games of 2022 but first category is called the no shit category now these are things that i have banned from my top five anticipated games because no shit right these are things that are like, coming out yeah, pretty we're, early. We're gonna, and we're gonna get. It's you know, there's it, it no right fun there. talking about it. I would much yeah. prefer talking about the things that we have questions about and we don't fully know everything about. Um, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna start with Horizon Forbidden West. This is that a game is that comes out in. Mine. This is as of recording January 13th. That comes out February 22nd. Yes. That was 18th. Sure. Check that mm -hmm. for me. Anyways, it comes out very soon is what's important. And I know that's going to be good. 18th. I wouldn't say 18th. Thank you. I didn't want to waste a top five spot for that. I know I'm going to like no, it. I know sure. I'm going to love it. And also, it's not really not really too much to talk about. I'm excited for it. I think Gorilla's going to knock it out of the park. I loved the first one. Alex, you just finished the first one, actually. Yes. As part of your games that you've kind of been playing in this very silent January that we kind of have. Mm -hmm. I backlogged my list. And you... Really quick, since you mm -hmm. haven't really never talked about it on the show, what what did okay. you think in a small kind of summed up way? I and I really enjoyed it. The combat was awesome. There's some little it's some to, I have some little issues on what is a boss fight and what isn't. Okay, the type of so to speak. Like I, I never it's, but I want to get into that. Um, but from overall, I really did enjoy the game, and I honestly can't wait for the second one I, I I, and every time i see a trailer i'm like it looks beautiful i want to play it okay okay now yeah i was curious i was curious on what our actual thoughts were on that game i'm i can't wait mm. for this one and i it's one of the games where i'm excited for but not like something on a top five list because those are more of a question whereas this yeah. one's kind of like a assumed like we right? know we're gonna play I this and, i know it's gonna yeah. be good like, literally right? yeah i know no, it's gonna sure. be good so i don't yeah. i don't really need to worry Alex. exactly you have one. Yes. So, uh, Forbidden West was also on my list, but um, the next one that I had on my list was uh, uh, Elden Ring. Oh, yes, Elden. Ring. My Noshik, my Noshi category. Yeah, Elden Ring. I love Dark Souls. Love Bloodborne. Elden Ring. It's right, literally next <laughs> month as well. Did I you mean, watch any of the closed beta stuff that they did? I did not. I want. I'm going. I'm so. When they showed some gameplay off when we mm. first, I forget what when they showed it. I can't remember what conference or on stage thing they showed when like they showed. Game Awards, right? Was, that... was it Game Awards yeah. when they showed us the actual gameplay and they you could see like him on the horse and it's jumping over onto yeah, the cliff. Yeah, because the pot guy came out and like gave yes, him the letter, yeah. yeah. When we saw gameplay, when whenever we saw that, that's the only thing I've seen, and I want to leave it at that because Me I mean, too. I just want to be excited and surprised. Now, FromSoft, so far, really, hasn't really missed, if we're no, being honest, every right? Game that I've every game that they've gone out is like... pretty top quality. 
for sure. As far as gameplay and things of that such, you can argue polish or whatever. But I think when you oh yeah nuts the bolts, the games are always fantastic. Now this is a new ish thing they're going into. This is their first open world kind of game, right? Mm-hmm. Where they weren't, you know, the there were bigger games. I think of uh, Bloodborne and Sekiro. Those are big games with large levels. Not really open world, I guess you could say. So this is where we get a whole environment to run around in. Are you at all? Are you at all worried about how that's going to play out? Are we going to? Be no, able to level up way too much too quickly and it's not going to feel like Dark Souls or are we going to be no, the opposite and it's like going to be hard to do stuff? What do you think? Not really because in all the software game, all the software games that we've played, I mean, most of it is still open world. It mm. just depends on which way we want to go. You know, if you, we don't know if we go to this certain area in Elder Ring, it's going to be way too hard, so we'll come back right. to it later. Right. That's how it is in any other Dark Souls games. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the level thing, I mean, I mean, they just changed it from being going to a bonfire to being able to, or at least I think, being able to do it, you just level up. Yeah. And I just, I mean, I like the difference, but I, I, I don't think there's much of a difference. So I think the open worldness, I feel like, I mean, we're used to that. I feel like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, I think that itself is still open world ish. Okay. Sandboxy close thing. So, to yeah, it's close where enough. Where they can kind of build off of it. Yeah. I know, okay. I could see the difference because, you know, it's, it's more open. Okay. But with uh, with this one is way more open. It's instead of being in clo- more enclosed spaces, but I still think it's about the same. I agree with about everything you just said, yeah. I, I think where they're coming from with Bloodborne, with Dark Souls 3, with Sekiro, like everything they've come from and all mm-hmm. these games that they've made, I feel like they've gotten little little kernels of learning every single time. Yeah, for um, sure. I think they've learned a lot, and I really do think they're coming at this with just... I think they're just going to be super confident. That's at least what I get out of it. They mm. seem confident, and I and oh, more yeah. power to them. Like uh, you could say what you want; they are hard games, but I do think these are going to be very compelling. And mm-hmm. my only worry is polish, and they've had a long time to work on this, like a long time. Um, rumors that this has been delayed multiple times internally, mm-hmm. and they got mm-hmm. another delay on top of that. Uh for about a month for even more polish so i'm very excited to get into this assumably very polished game and i'm ready I think to play it's gonna dark be pol- souls again i think it's gonna be very polished my worry is that i'm not gonna understand the story again <laughs> yeah that is when i'm gonna I, and because it's because if you can imagine this is technically the first ip so the lore is gonna be all new yeah unlike I, with the dark souls we knew do, we had games prior i will do a shout out to sekiro although i did not understand everything yeah. That is the most I've ever understood and I actually loved like most mm-hmm. of the um things that I learned and the lore that I learned. I liked a lot of that. Everything just about everything I did, I was like, "Okay, yeah, I see where this is going." Like like the blood is like this guy's blood is sacred and stuff and mm-hmm. we have to get the immortal severance blade to kill the immortal stuff and these giant bug thing. Like I understood a little bit of that at least whereas Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3 I can tell you zero, straight up zero oh, dude. about the game. Yeah. I couldn't tell you I, anything. Couldn't tell couldn't you tell anything you. what I did. I, I yeah, know the I first one, I think I remade a, a flame that makes life or something. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, this next one could be a quick one. Um, uh, uh, Witch Queen. Destiny Witch Queen, the oh, yeah. expansion that comes out um, February 22nd. Uh, Cheevers, I beat this in the bush every single week. I love Destiny. I play it every, almost every week, if not every yeah. week. I cannot wait for this expansion. It looks very promising. They're adding weapon crafting. They're adding uh, a new archetype of weapon called the Glaive, which is a first-person um, melee weapon that you can shoot with and use with. Um, they announced today certain changes with armor that looks promising and guns as well. They're hinting at a interesting addition to perks in the destiny 2 weapon system going into witch queen i'm very interested to see if that how that happens and uh, another thing that's promising alex that you played if you remember presage which was the very alien like 
uh, level. Remember that that you played? It was very scary, yes. very creepy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one of the game directors pointed out as that is that is we want that level because they saw that a lot of people were bringing their old Destiny friends back to play that level, just like I did. Like I brought yeah. you back. Like you got to play this level with me. Yeah, for they sure. want more of that in the whole game versus oh. like one level is really cool. They want a lot of those types of moments in the game instead of this one mission was added and it's really dope. They want to. Yeah. They want better designed missions. Seems to be what he's hinting at for Witch Queen at least. So I'm very mm-hmm. excited to see that evolution. I'm excited to see how this weapon crafting system works. We have no idea how it, how it's gonna work. Um, assumably they've they've only hinted at you would have to use other guns. Um to level stuff up in order to unlock specific things. So we're assuming you have to use a bunch of things to unlock a specific part of a gun and then you maybe you craft more later on. Who knows? But I'm very excited to see what this brings up for Destiny. I'm very excited to see the story of the Witch Queen wrapped up because we've got this whole season. These whole really last three seasons have been kind of sit- centered around this kind of powerful figure that's been manipulating things in the background. I'm very excited to see how that and um alex if you don't have any questions for me you can bring up your next pick for the category if you have anything left uh well i have one more it's dying light 2 Ooh, yeah i'm i mean i if i know i'm gonna like this game because with the parkour and the zombies i feel like i'm just i just hope my worries with this whole fiasco lately that we have is like oh you know they're getting this like oh how long is this actual game i i don't care as long as i enjoy it I don't care. It could be 10 hours. It could be 20. As long as I have, I enjoy my time with it, that's all that matters. Yeah, no, I've been looking for an excuse to make fun of them for that. Um, their PR just yeah. complete, completely like messed up for no reason. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, no one, no one was there. asking how long the game was. Well, no one was asking you to be dishonest on how long the game was. Yeah. I'm not even upset that it was 500 hours. I'm upset that that was a clear lie, and then they admitted it later. <clears throat> uh, Achievers, if you don't know this, we'll go over. I'll go over very quickly. So I don't, don't want to bore anybody. Uh, yeah, Dying Light 2's Twitter account tweets out game takes 500 hours to complete with no additional context. Just says that. Um, or sorry, they don't say to complete, they say to do everything, I believe, was the quote. Yep. Everyone makes fun of them for like three days. Then they come out with, sorry. We were being, um, uh, we weren't clear. They were like, what was it, Alex? 20 hours for the main story. 80 hours. 80 hours for, for side quests for, and collectibles? For, yeah, it was side quests and main story. And then 500 for main side, all collectibles, and check off every portion of the map. And all dialogue options. Correct. So that means you're playing the game multiple times to get every dialogue option. So that is super inflating your mm-hmm. playtime artificially because no one's doing that right <laughs> you right you would agree alex Let, no one's playing games multiple times to get every single dialogue option God, right? no so no, yeah i'm so not about a that, that was that was very that was pretty dialogue. dishonest we knew yeah. devs did dev math on their play times with games yeah, but i mean they just made it completely obvious and uh, and yeah. i'm i'll be honest i wasn't mad about the 500 hours thing because i knew they were lying no yeah now i'm mad that they intentionally lied on top of that like i knew like i already knew like, like all right you're you're buffing but now you had to admit it so now you look even worse it's not important i do think the game is going to be good regardless of the pr nonsense that that yeah that happened sure. i do think the game is going to be good i did love the first one i loved parkouring off of zombies heads to jump jump across like a ravine it was very scary I, my, my favorite part was how scary it was when you started the mission at nighttime or when it went into nighttime, it was terrifying. Like mm-hmm. they really nailed like, no zombies are zombies yeah, are like, going to like kill this, you and you better go. Yeah, you better like, leave. Yeah, you, This is what you got to worry about. <laughs> and that was, that was such a good time. Um, I did not do any of the expansions or extra DLC. I just played the main story and some of the side quests and I had a good time. Yeah. I can't wait for dying Light two. Whenever it comes out, we've heard about this for sure, three years now. So yeah. hopefully it comes out this time. Hopefully. Do you have anything else for Dying Light 2? You didn't... Uh, I kind of took over there. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I, I'm i just really excited to play the game because I'm... I 
when I when Dying Light One came out, I kind of like got stuck and I never really went back to it. Mm. You know, things happen, and I kind of bummed out because I was like, I don't want to go back to it now and then try to play all that and then and, and I'll have my same issue what I happened with Doom where I overplay too much and then yeah. I don't want to play two. Yeah. So I decided not to worry about going back to one and I'll just play the two as long as there's nothing that really connects to the first one. I'll have if not, I have to look it up, but I don't think there's any connection. Anther is. I doubt it's like crazy. That's why I was saying. Confused, I don't think so. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I I can't really tell you what happened in the first one because I can't quite remember. But I remember there was no, I some you. nonsense. I, I we'll talk about it off here mm. if you want to know. Alex, that's everything mm. for my categories. Was and that was everything for you as well, right? Correct. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna start us off then. Go with for it. My top five. So this okay. is my top five. This is your number five. Yes, most anticipated game, Hogwarts Legacy. Mm-hmm. This is a game that I'm very excited for. I've always wanted a Harry Potter game that I, um I've always wanted to like have a wand and like thwip out spells and thwip 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 and I can't I, I can't I just I mean there's we don't know too too much aside from it seems like you could pick your own house it seems like you can create your own character um it does seem like it uh sorry they they said it was 1950s I think I'm way off let me see. Thank you. They said the time frame. I feel like I'm way off. Isn't it like the eight? Is it the 1800s or something? I think it's like a, it's like uh, hmm. I had, let me let me look. Yeah, up. yeah. Look at it. I'll, I'll fill. Um, but yeah, I can't. I can't wait. I want to. I I love the environment of Harry Potter, like just that world, and I can't late wait to 1800s. get back. Late 1800s. Late 1800s. Thank you. It, it, like right. 1890s or something. Okay. Yeah. That yeah, was way off. Yeah, it says late 1800s. So it's about so it's about a hundred years before the yeah. The, the things of the movies yeah things of the and movies the and books. Yeah. yeah 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 and i can't wait i i i want to see what they put in this game i ho- and i'm sure. hoping it's good i'm very mm-hmm. much hoping it's good because i am i would i won't i wouldn't lie if i'm a little worried but I, I have no reason to so we'll see i'm a little worried because it was like the, with the, there's been rumors and stuff where it's supposed to be like early this year and i'm like really we haven't seen really anything so i was like i don't know i think yeah, it's gonna get delayed yeah i think i'm pretty sure that was fake so yeah i do not believe those i i saw that too and i was like eh, i think that person was just trying to get attention i'm not gonna call them out mm-hmm. but i think those yeah. persons trying to get attention but yeah yeah i can't i can't wait for this game to come out i'm hoping they really nail because it's very easy to make it to make you seem a little silly with a stick and like if you don't have mm-hmm. the movements right or something i'm hoping it's very fluid and it looks nice and like you have that good like flip of a spell like when you go to use a spell yeah i don't know i'm and i'm interested like what is i wonder what the game is like are we is it like a <sighs> like I am, like it, like I'm, yeah. I'm wondering what the plot of this. That's is. what I'm is saying. Like, just, are we are we just, sneaking just... around and like trying to figure out like some sort of mischief that's going on in the school? Or are we trying I think, to? I'm wondering if it's just gonna be kind of like because it says Hogwarts Legacy, so this is probably what what made Hogwarts famous, maybe, maybe. So maybe this is like the beginning of something. Because I mean. We, I think uh, a good I, setting would be the Triwizard Tournament, but I think we're a first year, so that can't happen. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm wondering, like, are you going to be able to go through all your years? Is it just, uh, is, is yeah, this, is that's this a more point. like an MMO, or is this more like, like, you know, you're this character, and you're going through what their story is, or is it that. your own? Yeah. I think yeah, it's I'm a talking. single player RPG, you have a story, and you just go through it. Yeah, And so, you get to pick your house, and you get to... Yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, this is all conjecture. Uh, what is your top five? Number five is Starfield. Oh, okay. Okay. November, yep. Star- uh, tw- uh, November 11, right? November 11. 11, 11. Yep. Who? As a, yeah, I'm, I really hope that this is, um, this is going to be really good because Bethesda has been always on the fallout this uh what, what would you call it more wastelandy type dystopian apocalyptic like they're apocalyptic, very like they're very apocalyptic. type of thing yeah. and though so going into space and having the it, it just it gives me mass effect mass effect yeah, vibe it definitely does like i i want explore something space exploration like they could right. do so much well with it like i mean i like no man's sky I like shows like you know or movies like interstellar and stuff like that like i i can't i'm hoping that you they 
do this right because you can screw up a space exploration or whatever this is. Yeah, you can make it feel empty. That's my that's my worry, exactly. right? If you remember that's Mass Effect yeah. One, um, that had an issue where you know you went to a bunch of planets. There was but, just a bunch of nothing, just, and there yeah, was like three things there the that you had to like go to, and it was a mess. So yeah, like you, I just yeah, you could definitely feel like I'm curious if they're gonna try to make a almost not like No Man's Sky, but like more, more an exploration. More, more, you're yeah, going to a, a world because No Man's Sky is too much to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I like, do not I like think, No Man's Sky, but it's too much. No, no, no. I, I what I mean is like. When you play No Man's Sky and you hit an, a planet and you are yeah. scanning stuff, like I'm curious yeah. if that's how it's going to be. Where like there's these planets that we have to kind of scavenge through, and you're going to find mm -hmm. stuff. And on the way, there's crazy Fallout esque missions, you know, Skyrim esque missions, side quests, and things like that. That yeah. you'll find people. You'll go to some desert planet, and there's some people like need water. You can go get go to some mine and get them water or something. You know, yeah. stuff like that. Like, I wonder if it's like that. I wonder if it's more, mm -hmm. like, kind of Mass effect -y where, like, there are, your side missions are on side planets and your main missions are, like, on these planet. And it could, it could, there could be so yeah. many I things. Just, I'm, I'm just wondering what it's going to be about because, like, when you see the trailers, you're like, oh, this looks, like, modern stuff. But then it goes, it keeps going. And you're like, oh, this is more, like, futuristic. So, like, what's the story? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Like, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. I, and I think we'll get a deep look at that. E3, I, I really do think so. I think yeah. we're going to get a deep dive into Starfield. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably see if it gets delayed or not. God, we'll I see. hope not. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Un uh, Uncle, Uncle Todd. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for him. <laughs> Uncle Todd. Yep. Number four. Mm -hmm. Totally accidental. Dragon Age 4. Ooh. What can I say, this year? what can I say about Dragon Age Four? Technically, they said it would, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What can I say about Dragon Age Four? I hope it's good. I hope EA has not, frankly, fucked anything up. <laughs> Bioware has been a mess these last few years. Clearly, uh, everyone's left. Everyone of any substance or name is basically gone so everyone we've we know we've known um at least for at least the high profile people are all gone so it is it's you know it's almost an unknown studio now uh with yep. a legacy to follow now these newsletters and things are very nice to hear i don't know if you heard these alex or read any of them but they have been saying they understand they're in a rough situation that the last couple of games have been rough of course andromeda and anthem and they said they're going to live live up to the legacy beforehand and try to make up for all of that. And they keep stating that they are not going to ship an unfinished game, is what they keep saying. Unfinished, unpolished, whatever you want to say it. They keep saying that. So that makes me... That makes me excited. Makes you excited? Makes me excited. If And if that is met with any sort of truth... Mm-hmm. I have full confidence that they can pull out a, new, a good game. The question is if it's true or not. And, we'll fi and the only way to find that out is when it comes out. And yeah. I'll be the first one, day one, buying it and playing it. And I'll oh, tell I mean, you if I'm, it's good or not. Hey, I'm right there with you because, I mean, you got... I've never played Dragon Age, and you got me hooked on those games. Those are, those are great games. I love them. And I hope they capture the Dragon Age spirit with this one. I loved the first one. Liked the second one, loved the Inquisition. So I, I hope they can marry what I love about one and Inquisition and put them together. Like, I have a more action y RPG, but have it, you know, have it a little more deep like the first one was. Um, yep. and, and let's bring back, um, let's bring back, uh, uh, not bring back because they did really Edmund well with the, they did, re <laughs> no, they did really well, <laughs> although that place is effed up from two. Um, yeah, and you hear about an Inquisition. I don't yeah. know, it's not important, but um, bring back, uh, not bring back, but keep going with what you were doing in Inquisition. The character development and all that, and the way you were talking with your companions were so good and so deep. Loved all that, and I hope that keeps coming. Like I, I want that to keep happening. Like I do would not you, want that to stop. So as long as that's going, 
would you want them to do what they try to do with the Inquisition with the online where you can play with your friend and you have your own character and you guys can go do certain things? I'm be honest. I never I, got a chance to play it, so I don't know. I'm going to be honest. The idea of that was not bad. Okay. The It was kind of cool that it was, I mean, it was kind of like raids almost. Not okay. really, but it was, you, you got four people together and you just see how long you can go and you can level up. It was actually kind of fun. It was very similar to Mass Effect's multiplayer. I mean, it kind of, I mean, it kind of was just Mass Effect's multiplayer, really. Um, okay. Just kind of slightly different. I kind of liked it. Now, I say kind of. I spent no time and, more importantly, no money on it because that's what they want you to do. They want you to spend money on it. I didn't do any of that. So I, I would like to see it again, but there's, but to get that multiplayer, single player has to suffer. And I don't want that to happen. So just don't do it. Just work on the story. Make it deep. Make it enriching. Keep the lore going because it's great lore. Just keep, mm -hmm. just keep going. And I, and I will. I'll love it. Alex. Okay. You're number four. God, I hope it, it comes out. But I, don't, I think it's going to be delayed for another year. But the Callisto Protocol. Now this is... The Dead Space creators. Success successor, isn't it? Well, Let but this see. is the creators from Dead Space, correct? Making a... It's it's the first game from Striking Distance Studio. They were and founded by it's Dead Space. A, yeah, it says a team made industries veterans behind the games like Dead Space and Call of Duty. Yeah. And yeah, including I, I a team founder, CEO, yeah. I can't remember the name or his position, but it was a high guy at... I can't remember if it's the writer or game director. Anyway. Uh, and chief developer officer Steve Papalsis. That guy? I don't remember. Um, anyways, Dead Space. Mm -hmm. it, it is clearly um, inspired from Dead Space. I mean, you oh, just look sure. at that little teaser. It's all the caller thing, and you know. So, no, yeah. This for is sure. set I... in the PUBG universe. I had all <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> It must be like really like this is must be really because I have right here it says it's set on Jupiter's moon Callisto in the year twenty three twenty. It's awesome and it's yeah it's takes so it's a rival horror the game challenge yeah, prison. Just, yep, Max, maximum security black iron prison and uncovers its terrifying secrets. That's not, all that sounds awesome and it's which is weird because it says it's a blend of horror action and immersive storytelling. So does that mean we get to pick decisions kind of like how Until Dawn did? Sounds you like think? PR speak. Just, mm. just saying the story is going to be good. Just it just says it's it's just a, it speak. sets a new bar for interactive entertainment. More PR speak. Why wouldn't mm -hmm. you say that, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. But if you don't say that, then why, why aren't you setting a new bar in entertainment? Not that's important. True, but it, why, yeah, why are but you it, excited for this game? I just, I, as soon as I saw the trailer, it mm -hmm. just gave me that itch. Like, yeah. like, like, I've, like, I love Dead Space. And, like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, Ooh, like a nice horror space ex uh, like like story game. Like that sounds like I want this. Yeah. And that and they had they had just showed this off after I recently finished Alien Isolation. Yeah. And I love that game. Yeah. So this like it just gives me like ooh like nice horror game. It's a, it's a, by the Dead Space. God, oh, it says coming twenty twenty two. So we'll see. And it's very story driven, so I don't have to worry about the I don't have to worry about online stuff. So yeah. it's, they they just gotta focus on a good story. I am um yeah, and this was and we saw this prior to the Dead Space remake announcement. So this mm -hmm. was this was, so, we oh, saw this in twenty twenty. So it's been in almost two years. Yeah, I was very I was very excited because I was like, oh yeah, we I mean, there's no sign at the time. There was no sign of any Dead Space coming. There no, still yeah. kind of really is no sign of a Dead Space coming because if when we get one, it'll probably be in two years. So. Mm -hmm. But this Callisto Protocol looks very promising. I I have to admit, when that trailer, although cinematic and no gameplay, it still got me no, excited. For sure. it still got me hyped. I'm very I I want to play that game when I saw it. And yep. whatever and everything you just read, like mm -hmm. set on Ju uh, Jupiter's moon, Callisto inside of a prison, like that sounds really cool. So like it it, it just seems different because I don't yeah. feel like we've done that. No, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, because like, a lot of horror games, they tend to do kind of the same thing, more like you know, paranormal, or you go to this place, you do this. They get they're always very similar. With this one, it just seems different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I, like, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. Uh, me too. Me too. I can't wait. Uh, and uh, the studio, 
What was the studio's name? The studio is Striking Distance Studio. Striking Distance, thank you. And then there's something next to, to it. Um, it says uh, Crafton, which I think it, that's the publisher. Yeah, that's the the developer, Striking Distance Studios, and then the Crafton is the publisher. Okay, I'm trying to remember name. And Crafton currently consists of PUBG, Blue Hole, Striking Distance, Phoenix, and Delusion. Uh, it looks like studios, so they have a bunch of stuff. My number three. Mm. Rocksteady is back. Suicide Squad. Mm. Now, now the question is if this comes out this year. Um, they said it will. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. But if it does, uh, this this I was I will be the first to admit I was very scared when they said uh, Rocksteady is trying a co op games mm. as a service title. I went okay. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> The gameplay trailer showed yep. me everything I think I need to know. That gameplay trailer got me hooked. When I see Harley jumping around, when I see King Shark doing that massive Hulk leap into a crowd mm-hmm. and doing the big movements with his minigun, when I see Captain yep. Boomerang teleporting around, and when I see um, uh, Deadshot uh, kind of using his um, grappling hook kind of attachment, yeah, I get really excited. It looks really cool, and the tone and writing seem really good too. With their kind of jokes that they're doing, yeah, um, uh, it definitely the, feels like Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the kind of aside they had with the penguins, this little skit they had where it's like, oh, penguins getting away. You better zap him. We're zapping him now. Is he down? Oh, he's still moving. <laughs> like that. Like that was pretty funny. I enjoyed that. No, yeah, I enjoyed that. So, too. if we if that is any indication of, of that little cut we got and also every time they show the flash it seems real fun too um mm-hmm. if if that's uh any indication of the story and also the um uh movement that i was talking about is any indication of how the combat's gonna feel i am super excited oh for sure that's what i'm hoping for is the fluidity Yes, and I'm very curious on how this is going to be a game as a service. Like, are we going to get more characters? Are we going to have this? Are you going to get skins? Because they can do so many different types of skins for that Are we going to have gear? Like, are we going to have armor and stuff? Like, how is that going to work? Who knows? Change Harley's baseball bat with different types of bats. Have her her classic mallet. Her mallet, yeah. 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 So, hey, who knows? We'll see later on, but I cannot wait. Uh, at this point, we've almost seen more of that than uh, another game that I'll talk about later, which is interesting that we've seen a little bit more of this one than the other one. But Alex, I think I know what, and I, I think I know what you're talking. You about. probably do. You'll we'll talk about it later. But mm-hmm. aside from that, Alex, I I'm very excited. Do you have any lasting thoughts with Suicide Squad before you get into your number three? I'm I'm very excited about this game. I'm just worried about how they're gonna do. Because it's open world, so uh, yeah. like I wonder how they're gonna make. Because your your kiss has killed the Justice League, so I'm wondering how they're gonna do this. Are they is it gonna be like Side the Ubisoft Far Cry like, thing? Yeah, where yeah. it's like oh, I know Wonder Woman has this area, the Flash has this area. Now you gotta get and re- undo that area. So I was like, I don't really want that. Yeah, I, so I, be I, I don't know. This is one of those games where I, I can write out just about anything I'd want about most games. This one, I don't even, I don't really know what I want. I, is it Do I want like a Brainiac of... controlled pl- police station and you have to go in there and beat the shit out of the cops to like mm-hmm. kill the Brainiac thing or something and then mm-hmm. capture the police station? I, I don't, I don't know what I want. That doesn't sound fun. Is it, is it but, bad that I kind of want the nemesis system in a way? Like, not as, like, Shadow War nemesis system, but, like, let's say you're running around doing a bunch of stuff for Amanda Waller, and that I don't know where a fume flash comes out of nowhere, and it's like, oh, you you know, you get the chance to fight him now, but if you don't fit, if you don't finish him, he can run off, and you, you'll probably see him again later. Or if you can finish him bad. now... Then you'll get some type of upgrade or something, and then you can go on to, in, to your next thing. Yeah, I was actually thinking of, since there's so many kind of D-list people you can bring in, yeah, if you had some sort yeah. of nemesis system where you brought up, oh my god, uh, Kite Man's uh, brainwashed. We gotta yeah. g- get him out of here, because he's he's like a center node for all these other people. So if we get him mm-hmm. out, Brainiac loses a whole chunk of the city or something. You yeah. go fight him, and maybe he does get away, or, some, or maybe he doesn't, or... 
Yeah. And, uh, and you like save him. Maybe you get like a special kite man gadget for your character to use or something, or maybe a power yeah. up to remember that fight with. I don't know. I, I like Whoops. where you're going with that, but yeah. yeah, we don't, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know what I you're just don't be want, like I game. said, like another Ubisoft thing where it's like, Oh, this whole section's by this person. Yeah. So now you get, there's like different even... outposts. When you get all the outposts done, now you get a chance to can, fight Wonder can Woman. Can you already see the map in your head? Like, Green Lantern, yeah, yeah. Green Lantern is like on the right side of the map, and like mm -hmm. like the Flash is in the middle, and like <laughs> Wonder Woman's Wonder Woman's up here, and then and by, Superman's course, all Superman, the way at the top. Daily, yeah, He's by, all the way at the top, Planet. like waiting. Like yeah, I, you can already see that like Far yeah. Cry map in your head. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, you that was uh, uh, what is your number three? Yeah. So number three is what I think you were talking about. My three is Gotham Knights. Oh yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Gotham Knights. Yes. What do you? What? Why? Why? I. The, the achievers have heard me I've, scream about this game for a while now. So I've been wanting. I want to hear go, your interpretation of why you're. So excited. every time I see this game, it's like the next Arkham game, and okay. I'm I I miss. I want to go back to that world. And like having that stealth, and you know, and running around and being the the Bat family, and having this being a co op game just make uh, to me, I, I makes it better because I'm like, oh, cool, you know, I could be Robin and you could be Nightwing or something, and you know, we can fight. It's like, be like, hey, there's a gun, there's a gun dude over there. I'm gonna go him around this way, and uh, you know, distract him while you can get him or do whatever. Uh, and it's sounds kind of cool. <laughs> And yeah, it's a bit like, hey, there's, I mean, and just being able to be in that world is just, I'm excited. And I really want to know about what's up with this Court of Owls. Like, they can like go I've many never, ways with that. Yeah. So I'm very, very curious to see more of that. Yeah. And I mean, it looks like, I mean, I wonder how open it is. I'm not sure if it's open, like, aside, like Ar excuse me, the Arkham games. Because the, the trailer that we saw, you know, you were on the the bat bike or something, and you, mm -hmm. it, you were going through the city. But I want I don't know if that was just like a linear area, or you can actually go around wherever you want. Yeah, because they said it was a co op game, so like, yeah, assumably, no. like you're gonna have a world, and you can join my world, and I'll have missions yeah. to do. The only play, the only person that's done that was Unity, and that didn't work well. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I, there's other games I can't quite think of. Right I don't. Now, I but... don't remember on the top of my head. But yeah, the yeah. only one that I remember that did not work well with that was Unity. Yeah. So I'll be curious to see. Uh, Division Two kind of does that in a way. You okay. Can join I on guess... their instance and play yeah. through it. So well, there was there's areas because like you know there's are certain areas blocked off and then you can go through gates in the dark zone. I don't know. I wonder how this is gonna play out. Me too. Uh, me too. I think. I think the I think all of Gotham is like to shit, and you just mm -hmm. as you always do you do yeah as always right, and I think <laughs> you're just redoing everything right. You're probably there's probably some penguin base you got to go and this is clear out in of thugs. the Arkham's world right because this is right after it, the Nightfall Protocol. No, it's lo loose like loosely because if you remember, Red Hood was. <sighs> It gets it gets complicated. No and yes, it's definitely based on the ending of but Gotham. But it is not a sequel to Knights. that. But yeah, there's definitely different things that it it just doesn't line up. Got it at all. But the, it's yeah. meant to be clearly. They just yeah. there's certain things they've definitely had to retcon to have make sense because no, for there's sure. There's straight up characters where I'm like, this isn't mm, him. <laughs> like so that doesn't yeah. make sense. So, but it doesn't matter. Exactly. It, it looks fine. For sure. Um. That was your number three, so that was my number mm -hmm. two. Um, number two, a game called Redfall. Mm. You remember this, Alex? Yes, the vampiric type game by Arcane. Mm hmm. I cannot wait. And this is I'm one of the games. This is high on your list. Yeah, yes. Be only because of the promise. And again, you, I'm usually the guy that immediately goes, Cinematic trailer, I'm out. Like, as soon yeah. as I see a cinematic trailer, I couldn't care less. Like, psh, I will see you when you got gameplay to show me, buddy. Yeah. But the the marketing was too good, if I'm being completely honest. Like, what they showed me, the way they showed the characters, I know people make fun of the, line, other, so. the lines at the end. I love it. I love um, yeah. Edgar Allan Crow, like the joke of that. I liked that stuff. I know people oh, make fun sure. of that. No, yeah. But I I liked it. I liked kind of how corny it was. The first off, I told him. I remember the I remember the video, the show we did, 
me and Emmett uh, and you mm-hmm. were doing our top. Uh, uh, fuck, what was it? It was like our most our favorite our games of the show or something like that. And that was remember. one of the ones I had, Redfall. And I and I was telling you to because we saw it at the Bethesda and Xbox Showcase. So we yes. were just uh, doing a review of that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And, and I and I told you to. I was immediately sold on the opening screenshot. And if you remember the opener, it's the uh, lady with the um, magic uh, kind of uh, telekinesis yeah, loading yeah. her gun and sitting mm-hmm. on the uh, thing with her mm. telekinesis and i was like sold like that's like it sold from scene one like i yeah. uh, like just this entire premise seems cool is it gonna suck i don't know i haven't seen anything about it but this is a very rare game where i like i said I usually mm-hmm. completely sold uh sorry completely unsold on cinematic trailers because it means absolutely nothing yeah but this is the one time where I kind of let the PR come over, and it's really fun. I can't wait for it to come out. And Arcane and is a great studio. I mean, and it's interesting. Do you think it'll come out this year? They said summer. It says so summer. Even if so it gets delayed, they have six months. Yeah. So even if it does hmm. get delayed, they said now that it is an interesting thing. Um, I would have to look up the, if Arcane has a history of delays. Um. I want to. I want to say they don't have any huge delays of anything. Oh, Deathloop got delayed pretty severely, um, if I remember correctly. But that was. I think I was a little bit due to the Bethesda acquisition that happened. Um, I think that messed up a lot of stuff. Who knows? Aside from that, it, it very much could be delayed. I agree with you, Alex. Even yeah. if it is delayed, if it if it gets delayed four I mean, months, still in twenty twenty two. So we'll see. I, I doubt if you if you if you said hey I bet you a hundred dollars it comes out eh, I don't know if I take that bet but but yeah I, right? but, but I will say yeah I will say I don't have a reason not to think it but no for sure I mean hey we'll see uh, we'll see what happens Alex so my number two we talked about already was Hogwarts Legacy oh yes yes we did discuss this already yes. any any final thoughts you want to that just, or something I, you thought of beforehand. Or, I, sorry, just, after I, the fact. I just can't wait to be in this world. I mean, I, I love Hogwarts and the magic world and being able to pick your own character because we're always, you know, behind Harry and the trio and stuff like that. I'm glad that we're doing our own. Like, it's us. It's it's our character. Yeah. Like, I, like I'm Hufflepuff. So, I, like, now I get to pick my class and see what their story is, what's going to cool. happen. Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm the... I'm the main person of my story now. Yeah. So like, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I'm just wondering what th- the plot is like, Me who's too. the villain? Like, is, is, are we doing this whole, um, cause it's not Voldemort cause it's over. It's, oh, it's oh, way behind. It's a hundred years before. I mean, I don't know how old Grindelwald is. Yeah. So I, don't I don't either. Know Maybe that. it's that stuff. I don't know. Is it an original thing? Like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. They make it so- I would, pr- I would hope they're doing an original thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, um, I wonder if we're going to have dialogue choices. Curious about that. That's, yeah. Is it going to be voiced? Am I a silent protagonist? You know, we don't, don't, know. We don't know anything. When I, when I saw this game, I thought I was like, for some reason, it gave me a lot of um, Fable feeling. Like the, the studio did, who I did agree. Fable. I agree. Like, like, like yeah, the way Lionhead. that it is. Yeah, Lionhead. Yeah, it just gave me a lot of Lionhead feeling. Mm-hmm. I, and I, I like, agree. Oh. For some reason, um, I did get that kind of strange fable feeling. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which, the which makes sense. Is good. The fable was very British. It had a very British humor, too. So Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Hogwarts is a game that I'm super excited for. But again, another one we don't really know much about. We, we don't know and it's how's the combat going to be. Like, who, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, yeah. we have... Are we going yeah. to class? Like... I, Maybe I get to do some potions. Yeah, yeah, we making potions. We gotta like figure out like what. Glad didn't Leviosa that feather. <laughs> it's Leviosa. No, a... oh, <laughs> Leviosa. <God>. Anyways, <laughs> what's your number your, one? That was your number two. Now the reason I didn't yeah. talk about Gotham Knights, Alex, is because that was my number one, mm, and I was I leaving figured. a couple I figured. little spots uh, that I can chime in for, so we don't just Got immediately it. skip my number one. No, for sure. Uh, Achievers, you probably could have guessed this. <laughs> this would be my number one. I can't wait for it. Uh, mm. From announcement, I started daydreaming about the game. Like, mm. no joke. I was like, oh, that would be so cool. Like, I could be Nightwing. Maybe I'll get yeah. his new 52, like, 
costume that'd be cool like the red do you think you'll get as many costumes as you do in arkham like all you know like batman gets like 30 costumes do you think we'll get like all the costumes they uh, from the get-go they showed us three costumes i believe like immediately so i was like oh yeah if we already have seen three like (laughs) yeah oh yeah yeah and they could sell it to me too guess who's buying them all (laughs) me i'm yeah uh if yeah like oh god they can jesus there's so many the classic Nightwing suit, they they can the red yeah, hood. Yeah, I ones. can see a season pass right there. Done. Yes. Yep. Um. I mean, red hood. I I want to play all of them. Like when oh, I sure. sit down and go, like God, I, who who am I gonna play? I have no idea. Like I, I don't do even care for Red play. Robin, but I'll still play as him. Yeah. Yeah. Like like I'll play. I I will play any of them. Batgirl. If I get um the Babstar Batgirl design stuff. If I get mm-hmm. there's so many options. I just can't. I can't. I can't wait to play it. I think I'm going to have a great time with this game whenever it does come out. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed again. I want to see a little bit more gameplay. I want to see what we're going to be doing like you brought up. What what are we doing in the world? Are we is it like a Far Cry thing? Is it like Division where like you're kind of replaying missions over? Are you Yeah, cuz I was like going to say I think this, this could a- benefit from a Nemesis like system like we brought up before mm-hmm. or it could benefit a lot from um a rotating boss in a season. So like we all, you know, you work together in season one to take down Mr. Freeze and then season two, uh, two face. The whole so, season's about two face and, and like you get a little story about him and the third season's about Ra's al Ghul, you know, like you just keep going and, and you should have a great time. Like I, I, got, I can't wait for I have, that. I have one worry and it just came up to my head. Go ahead. Because I was going to ask you, do you, do you think there's going to be a, a level system as in Marvel's Avengers? And that's my worry. Do you think they're going to try to do... I, or, excuse me, I just hope they don't make the mistakes Marvel Avengers did. Yeah, I, I think that's a benefit, honestly, because they got to see a superhero mm-hmm. live service fail before they came yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. They, got to, like, they got to show their higher-up people that don't really understand games and just see money like hey mm-hmm. look what happened may, you know they could they might have used that for you know more time in a delay maybe. like maybe they yeah. show they're like hey look we can't ship like this this is what happens yeah also let's look at all the shit they're fucking up now so we can use it and not mess up later and make a lot of money you know and yeah. i think i think that helps a lot um, yeah, because I'm so, wondering if they're going to add like some type of for like, oh, you know, there's going to be a, a lobby. You know, I join your game and then I pick who's is there going to be a level system where I'm a certain level and then I can put equipped things to me like in Avengers. But I just hope they don't do it in a wrong way. Yeah. So they one thing I do remember them saying is you can play as the same person. So we can both be Nightwing. We can both be Red Hood. We can, you know, that was something they said immediately because everyone, well, I guess, yeah, because uh, okay. in Avengers, remember you could, you could do that now, yeah, you can now, but yeah. you couldn't before, and that's what made them ask them, and they were like, "Of course you can," yeah. um, <laughs> which was you really could fucking be three, two Nightwings if you want. Go they, ahead. They, they were saying like, "Of course you can. Why wouldn't you?" And I was like, "That was a clear dig." You're gonna be the red one. You're gonna be Damien. I could see it. And, and like yeah you add damien later on as a as a playable dlc in like mm-hmm. year two of the game where like it's an expansion you play damien wayne and he oh god <laughs> i'm getting hyped no, up stop. again stop. i gotta stop. stop we gotta stop what's your number one i think you know it god of war ragnarok Woo! Alex. my um my my Alex. norse in my norse in me is is coming out Alex. and i can't i can't wait Alex, boy Steak dinner. Mm. Does it come out this year? Ooh. Steak dinner. Does it come out this year? Achievers for the uninitiated. Mm. This is our for fun bet. We either buy we each other's steaks time. or we make, you know, make steaks. It's up to the buyer, but this is a steak dinner. So whoever's right gets a steak dinner paid by the loser. So Alex... Steak dinner. Does God of War make it this year? They have said 2022. Do you think they make it? Yes. The latest? November. I think if if they... I feel like if they're going to try to bring it out this year, it would have been maybe August, September, maybe. 
But I feel like if they have to delay it, I feel like they'll delay it maybe a, mo- a couple months and they'll, it'll come out by November. It, it'll, I feel like I have to the end of 2022, like yep. right before. Yep. I think it'll be 2022, but yeah. I I have a feeling there probably will be a delay. Don't know how long, but I feel like there will be. It'll be like, hey, we're going to delay just a couple more weeks to make sure everything's I wouldn't polished. be shocked if it's an eternal delay and they just never tell us. Like, you know, like it, Maybe. it, it could have been for September, but, you know, before they announce it, they're like, hey, we need a little more time. Well, so it gets pushed to um, November. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked about that either. We just don't know about a delay. They just never announce it. So I just found something. It says, 20 hours ago on MSN, uh, it says, God of War Ragnarok is the most anticipated game, or one of them, uh, according uh, for this year. And according to a database leak from PlayStation, it could be arriving September 30th, 2022. So now, To be fair, that is a placeholder date, because I believe no, for that sure. is physical order it says, three. Yeah, it says this could be a placeholder, which particularly date being the last day of a part of Q3 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. But it, it says also it could give us an idea so if it is September or well, the, or Q3, yeah, I'm about to say Q3. I got that's, a couple months important, stretch. There. That's important. Different. That's important. No, no, yeah, yeah. So I, hey, I got a couple months there. I'll I'll give it to it. I'm I'm gonna say 2022. Okay. L- holiday 2022. Okay. I mean, you know what? I'm thinking holiday, and I don't know why games like doing this, but I mean, you know, Ragnarok's coming. Everything is on ice. You know, snow time, holiday there time. There you go. You can do that. Give Kratos a little Santa hat, you know what I'm saying? I'm just checking. We shall see. But yeah, God of War, I can't wait to figure out the story for this. So like, you get to fight Thor, I hope. No. You find Tyr. Now, Alex, God of War. I'm afraid oh. to tell you, I did say I was not going to play this game because they reused the boat animation. Unplayable. Unplayable. What do you mean? <laughs> Achievers, that's a joke from Twitter. You remember in the latest God of War Ragnarok, look at they uh, a lot of people got mad because they reused the boat animation from God of War. They literally put the hey, God really? of they got mad because he pushed the boat the same way. So like they put God of War and Ragnarok aside by side. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Alex. People were really mad about this. <laughs> they put them side by side and they're like, look, he's pushing the boat the same way. Like they're cutting corners. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not making this up are you up. gonna be mad for people who play sports to be like hey he threw the ball the same way or hey he batted the same way you're gonna get mad at that come on get out of here it was shit. really funny it was a good time it was a good you know why little... they're doing that so they can give you the game earlier and that is save why. resources that's why that is 100 why uh now am i going to stay awake at night pretend like i care about the bone animation no i don't care uh I this think, game I looks really awesome. good this is the last game in the Norse saga, which is kind of surprising. Um, mm-hmm. I I can't say I love that, but maybe the game is going to prove me wrong. Um, yeah, we haven't even the, seen yeah, Odin last one. or Thor, so we will I, we for sure will see them in this game. Clearly, because this is the end. Ragnarok is going to happen. So, mm, well, in the tra- even in the trailers, I said you know, oh, um, you know. Uh, I forgot what he said. This I, don't uh, I think Freya or Mimir said something about Odin, and it's something like he, you know, if you do this, he's gonna come down or something. I forgot what he said. Remember when Freya jumped on the like shit sled? The, yeah, and yeah. just tried fucking killing him. I awesome. just love that he has uh, human and immune and the fucking wolves. That was awesome too. Yeah, so cool. This is so cool. And, and I'm curious to see if any of that stuff at the end of God of War. Is going to come to fruition in some point, or at in some way, or some point throughout this. Again, this is the end of the Norse no, saga. It's no, very strange. No. I, I, we don't know what's going to happen. If we, if we, if we look back, if you can remember, there there was an interview uh, with Corey Barlog. I think he was on Kind of Funny, and they asked him because there was a thing going around: Is the World Serpent Kratos? They uh he, at first he was like uh no yeah, and he I was like no, and, and, yeah and he was like uh no and they were like well hear us out because he, he, he they're in this because he, he, uh, Corey was like no because they're in the same spot together and he was like no but wait because Loki when he births the serpent you know Thor uh, fights through time I believe or through, something yeah he uh the serpent they fight they fight together and then the world serpent gets thrown back in time. So they're like, does does that mean 
uh, that he's coming back in time to help Kratos defeat Thor, and that's what explains Wild. the beard on the snake, the white and the red, and the face on Cory was like, uh, well, everything will be explained in the next game. That's literally what he said. I was like, I hate you. Because <laughs> it could be wrong, or it, it could out. be... He, or car- he, pr- he probably was just like, this is probably one of the best fan theories, but no. Or it could be. Or he's like, know. shit. <laughs> they yeah. figured it out. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, I will also I just, quickly so bring excited. up, because this has become a God of War fan cast. Mm-hmm. We still don't know who the serpent was fighting when we went into its mouth. If you remember, we went to the serpent's body. Mm-hmm. And we were in, a, in the boat. And mm-hmm. someone was fighting the serpent. I assume it was Thor. Who who knows? Maybe it's some weird time travel thing. I don't know. I just yeah. I've always loved because he was like, even Mimir was like, oh oh, why did he bite that that statue of Thor? He's like, oh, he has a big grudge on Thor because they fight, or at least they're going to. <laughs> yeah, they, it, but that's the thing though. Like, they're going works. to. They didn't fight yet, so it's it's weird. But yeah, and it's crazy because Mimir knows all the story, but it hasn't happened yet. So it's like, what the fuck? Very sad. I'm very sad. So cool. Oh, I I I love Norse mythology. It's I I can't wait. I can't wait for this game. I'm actually, I thought about replaying this game because I Me think too. I have time. We should. We so should. I'm thinking about going back. Alex, hmm. Hmm. we do a replay. Mm-hmm. whenever the date's announced, like maybe like a month or two beforehand to like get us okay. back in the mood. Okay. I honestly, I'm only a couple of things away from plan. I, I don't remember. I don't even think I've planned them. I think I have like Ooh, two trophies left. Definitely should. And it bothers me because I need to. Yeah, I, I did. Or, I wait, no, I did. I did plan them. In. Okay. I was about to say, I'm sure. No, no, did. I did. Yeah, I did. Cause I remember I had to get all the birds again cause I never had got them and I got mad. Oh, and you did get the birds. Yeah, I did get them because I remember right, you get this when you plant them and you get the little symbol for your. That's profile. right, and you put it on. That's right. Yep, I remember. I that forgot. Now. I remember. I'm that still now. in the track of me not finishing it, and then I was like, "Wait, no, I finished that. I've uh, like I finished a bunch of stuff." Ugh, gotta work. Can't wait, Alex. Hmm. That was our top five anticipate games of 2022. Yes. Whew. That was a good one. I. Yeah, I think 2022 up. is shaping up to be a very strong year. This um, game, yeah, it is going to be coming off. Year. Some games were still pushed from the pandemic. So mm-hmm. we are seeing a lot of supposed to be 2021 games landing 2022. Mm-hmm. We're seeing a lot of last minute quarters games come out with a couple games. And we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Mm-hmm. And we're definitely going to see. I mean, even certain games that we did not mention. I mean, I'm sure there's probably gonna be good because yeah like, i mean there's a couple i didn't do... mention tunic i hope comes out this year i don't know if you remember that but that's the Fo- fox little zelda game that looks yeah. really fun um somerville looks really fun i, I kind of want to play that i mean there's, yeah, I mean, there's I mean, a bunch of games i didn't mention yeah, so our i feel like our top 10 for game of the year at the end of this year is gonna be tough and it's gonna be tough and that and and great that nothing better yeah. than having a tough top 10 nothing oh, better. for sure yeah you're swimming in riches at that point Mm-hmm. Alex, thank you so much for joining me. This has been quite a good time talking about the future of 2022 and what games are coming out for it. What is your top five or top three or what is just a couple games that you're looking forward to? Leave a comment below or DM us privately, patreon.com slash and let us know your top five. We might go over through it in the next episode. Thank you so much for doing a comment or supporting us on patreon.com slash Check out our tiers. Figure out what you want to support us on. Anything helps. A dollar, pennies a day, helps us live our dream. Thank you so much. Five star us on any podcast service of your choice. And remember, go Chief. Go Chief.